Let's look at a real picture of what happens. See, this is the normal angle, the iris is taut and straight and in its normal position. So, the angle is open and it, the aqueous is flowing normally. However, in mid dilated condition, see the pupil is in contact with the lens over here and there is iris bombay occurring because of aqueous humor collection here and there is a block in the trabecular meshwork resulting in angle closure glaucoma. I hope this is clear. So now this has occurred. So what happens to the patient? In just half an hour, the IOP increases from 15 millimeters to almost 60 millimeters of mercury. That is about four times. It increases four times in about 30 minutes only. So the patient has a severe pain that typically occurs in the evening or uh, late nights when the light is low. Uh, it's so terrible that it feels like a bomb is exploding in the patient's head. The pain is so bad and there's a loss of vision along with vomiting because of this excessive pain. When, a, when you come across a patient with these complaints, your immediate suspicion should be an angle closure glaucoma or synonymously known as acute congestive glaucoma. Now, the symptoms we have discussed that it occurs late in the night with severe pain. However, there is another symptom called colored halos. See this image that you are seeing, there are these circles all around the point source of light. That is known as colored halo. What causes this colored halo is that we know that there is corneal hydration in glaucoma because of damage or insufficiency to the corneal endothelial pump. So, there is water droplets that are collected in the cornea and each of this droplet acts as a prism. Because of this prismatic effect, there is dispersion of light causing colored halos. That is the mechanism behind colored halos and obviously there is a sudden drop in vision as well. Now that we have discussed about colored halos, from exam point of view, what you need to know is that Colored halos can occur in cataract and angle closure glaucoma as well. These two conditions, the cataract, uh, the colored halos can occur. So, how will you differentiate when a patient comes to you with this complaint of colored halo is that you are going to use this instrument of stenopic slit. What you do is you make the patient sit when she is having a an episode of colored halos and you ask the patient to move the stenopic slit in front of her eye. If at all it is due to cataract, the colored halos will split up like this. Okay, Like this. These are split up colored halos. However, if it is because of angle closure glaucoma, the colored halos do not break and they appear as continuous circles. This is very frequently asked. Please uh, memorize this. The colored halos in cataract split up and then unite again. However, those in angle closure glaucoma, they sp uh, do not split. Another condition I would like to mention here is that in mucopurulent conjunctivitis as well, mucopurulent conjunctivitis, also there are colored halos and when this mucus is washed out, the halos disappear. Okay, the halos completely disappear when the mucus is cleaned. Okay, now these are the symptoms. Coming to the signs of glaucoma, the cornea, as you can see in this picture, it is stony hard along with steamy cornea. The term used to describe corneal edema is steamy cornea. It looks as if you have steamed the cornea. You can see that the iris details are not very clear that is due to the corneal edema and this there is characteristic features of a pupil this important question the pupil is mid dilated vertically oval and non reacting please remember these three features of an acute congestive glaucoma the pupil is mid dilated vertically oval and non reacting to light okay now vogue's triad it tells us when the patient comes to you on a later stage. 
after the attack is over the patient comes to you after say one month or two months this vogue triad helps us to know that he had a previous episode of acute angle closure glaucoma what is it the first one is iris atrophy the second point is mid dilated non reacting pupil along with peripheral anterior synechia and the third is glaucom flecken now in this picture all these white opacities that you're seeing these are called glaucom flecken and they are nothing but necrotized lens epithelium we know that the anterior lens capsule beneath that lies the lens epithelium so these are areas of necrotized lens epithelium due to the episode of acute angle closure glaucoma and then here you can see that some areas of iris are appearing white compared to the normal brown color all over here these are patches of iris atrophy and these indicate a previous attack of angle closure glaucoma Hello everyone this is Dr Sai Suguna your mentor for ophthalmology at Medico app now thanks for watching the video now we have put such videos all together in our ophthalmology app the trial version you can download from the link over here or in the description box below